back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining us again as we discover the secrets of studying abroad and securing those life-changing scholarships right here on I Research for you. In today's video, just like you saw, I'll be showing you how you can search for universities in the US with assured funding and scholarships. If this is something that you will like, you want to stay with me till the end of this video. And if you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up because I'll be giving you all these tools. So what I'll be doing here is using ChatGPT. I already have my ChatGPT here. So what I did initially was to search the names of states in the US. So when you do that, it's going to list the 50 states in the US. So when you see the names of the states in the US, you want to go ahead and search for public, public universities in each of the states. Like this is a lot of work, but if you're interested if you know that it's something that you really want you want to go and study in the u.s with funding you want to search for public universities in the u.s because public universities are the universities that have like like full funding opportunities i'm not saying private universities in the u.s don't have but so far i have seen that a lot of public universities in the u.s are the universities that give full funding and have like a lot of assistantships and funding and grants and scholarships available so the next thing i did was search public universities in alabama because that's like the first state so this list came up the university of alabama auburn university university of alabama at birmingham university of alabama in huntsville jacksonville state university so all these lists so these are the lists of um public universities in alabama right so now you want to go over to google and search for the university of alabama we're going to take this first one okay so i already did that the university of alabama so whenever you're searching for universities right you want to come over like if you're using your laptop by your left by your right hand side you want to check graduation rate acceptance rate and everything so you can see the acceptance rate in this university is 79 percent so which is like good if you ask me so the next thing after searching the acceptance rates the next thing you want to do for you to be able to be sure that you are going to the official website of the university you can see this one apply to ua grad graduate school you see this one is www.ua.edu so this is the official website of the university of alabama it usually comes with the logo like this side and then you can see apply graduate school international admissions and everything so you click on the university of alabama so that should take you to the official website of the school so the first thing I advise you do is to search academics okay so you want to know if this school has your choice of program like the intended course of study so you want to see like here you can see the undergraduate majors over 70 undergraduate programs across this one they have the graduate programs as well over 120 masters so law school and then they even have like an online program as well so let's click on graduate programs so you can see here accounting mma accounting phd advertising and public relations so you can just go through these lists you can just go through this list to find your own course like i think i've seen a lot of people asking me if they if there's a program for communication if they have like social work so you can just go through this list honestly there's a lot of graduate programs they also have nursing nursing msn physics a lot of, a lot of programs ahead social work 
social a lot of people ask me about social work so yes there's social work special education tax accounting theater and women's studies so let's just check um, um accounting mma let's see what they have so these are the specs you want to check like if they have what they have and the requirements that you'll be needing so here this is the program so you want to check on the requirements so you see students must take a minimum of 30 hours of graduate courses this 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 so you want to check this as well so what i'm interested in is here it says funding for students so many students in the program receive funding and funding possibilities include scholarships assistantships and fellowships scholarships is like they'll just give you scholarship maybe you have like scholarships maybe usually merit based assistantship is where they pay your tuition fee and then you get to work in color in the institution and fellowships maybe like like a grant or something so you want to contact the program director for more information so you can like this is how you get to see like if a university has funding this is just for accounting this is just for accounting let's go back let's see they usually do have funding like the public universities let's see english so here you can see overview requirements as well and then funding for students so here you can see students admitted let's let me highlight this students admitted to the graduate program are guaranteed up to five years of full financial support like up to four years for the mfa and up to two years for the ma so all students all students qualify for graduate assistantship which include a stipend paid over nine months <laughs> And full payment of up to 15 credit hours of graduate tuition guys individual programs additionally offer one time of, or ongoing stipend enhancements and then they have the harassing funds and then there are a variety of additional fellowship opportunities as well so here you can see that they're saying for more information regarding graduate school this one this one please contact the graduate school you see here is a clickable link the graduate school is a clickable link and then they'll provide single coverage health insurance for each qualified assistantship so this is the right way to go about your your travel abroad to us stuff you get so this is the graduate assistantship thingy as well so the gas receive ongoing training wow they even train you and support from the department's composition specialists Later, GAs are eligible to request for other appropriate teaching opportunities. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool if you ask me. So that's for English. I believe there are other funding opportunities as well in other departments. But I will not be checking all of that. You guys should also come and do small work. Okay? So I'll be going back to chat GPT so we can check another um, state. This is for Alabama, right? So let's see. Maybe we should check um, which states should we check? Let's check Michigan. Michigan. So I'll just go on Google and see a list of lists of sorry, not chat GPT list of public universities in Michigan and enter that uh -huh. so you can see the University of Michigan, Michigan State University, MSU, Wayne State University, Western Michigan University, Central Michigan University, Eastern, all the public universities in Michigan. So um, maybe we should look at University of Michigan. So I'm going to go on Google here and search for University of Michigan. enter so here you can see University of Michigan with the logo and then here you see acceptance rates 20% not fair enough if you ask me 
let's go back to chat gpt the acceptance rate at university of michigan is like 20 percent so let's check um western michigan university western michigan university see public university in kalamazoo michigan okay aha uh -huh. so here by your right side you can see the acceptance rate 83 percent which is good for me like so i just want you guys to just go online search the states any um university that the acceptance rate is like from 50 and above is good 70 and above is better 80 and above mm, best so like this western michigan university so we're going to click on western michigan university like always so we click on academics so that you can see the programs that they have so here you can see 150 plus majors they have undergraduate degrees colleges and graduate programs let's click on graduate programs so you can see the graduate programs that they have like it's a lot if you ask me it's a lot not like some universities that you just see for four graduate programs or just six graduate programs like this is a lot and also this university has social work i'm just highlighting social work because i have seen a lot of people come to my um inbox and ask about social work so social work yes these two universities that i looked nursing is also available in this university law and then yeah so many programs so let's click let's check um we looked at accounting in the other university let's check for uh, applied economics and see what they have so this is the department So here you can see academics, advising, events, scholarships. Let's click on scholarship. So here it says the Department of Economics at Western Michigan University recognizes the importance of a quality education and is dedicated to helping you find a way to achieve your higher education goals. In addition to the undergraduate and graduate financial aid available through Western Michigan University Student Financial Aid and Scholarships, the following resources are available. So for undergraduates, they have the Department of Economics at Western Michigan University has several scholarships available to students. So these are the scholarships, the, I can't pronounce these names, the Werner Seychelles Undergraduate Prize, the Bill Monroe Scholarship, Bonus in Economics. And as usual, for graduates, of course, funding opportunities in form of graduate assistantships so a number of assistantships a number of assistantships are awarded to economics phd students each year recipients are selected by a department committee based on a competitive basis and then this one also says the carol g score and store award is awarded to economics department graduate students to defray travel expenses incurred when giving paper presentations at conferences and the award ranges this to this. this is a very small so here yeah, international students scholarship and awards to support the study and research of international students at this study abroad this is for domestic students and this one is for international students so let's click on scholarships and so you to learn more about funding options you can select your university status so if you're an undergraduate select undergraduate if you're a graduate you select graduate so here you can also see many international students inquire about financial assistance at western michigan university while most u.s financial aid is restricted to only the u.s citizens and permanent residents so the undergraduate and graduate international students may apply to other funding sources so these are the other funding sources so the graduate funding opportunities they have graduate appointments grants and fellowship and then they have all other scholarships as well 
so i'm just doing this one like so application for graduate appointments are due by february 15th and appointments are usually made by april 1st for students planning to enroll in the fall semester so international students with a graduate assistantship should contact their department to inquire about special funding to cover the international student fee academic colleges and this one so yeah you can see this university as well they offer funding to their students this is for um, that's for economics and i believe that other departments too do have funding opportunities available for their students so that's for um michigan we can also check another university or another state let's go back to chat gpt okay so don't forget the other universities in michigan in case you want you can check like grand valley state university and this university so you can also check and if you want more you can just click on more you can just search more public schools public schools because they'll just list like the first 10 that comes to that is popular so if you say more public schools so you can see it's giving me like more public schools in michigan so you can see michigan state university college of law this one northern michigan university michigan state university college of this medicine university of michigan dearborn university of michigan flint so you can keep asking for more and more universities in this state because they'll just first list 10. so another state we might look at is um let's see georgia let's let's search for georgia let's say public universities in georgia this video is getting too long i think i'm just going to end it very soon because you guys already get the get the gist i believe so there's the university of georgia georgia institute of technology georgia state university georgia southern university georgia southern university has a lot of um funding opportunities like for graduate assist like in form of graduate assistantship and also augusta university has a lot of funding opportunities for graduates like i'm sure of this these two and including georgia state university as well so we can just quickly look at georgia university of georgia so you go to your browser and just click university of georgia and search i made a mistake university of georgia okay here by your right you can see the acceptance rate is 40 percent i don't like anything 40 percent let's go back georgia state university let's click let's search for georgia state university georgia state university georgia state university oh my goodness georgia state university acceptance rates 100 <laughs> guys you see why checking the acceptance rate is very important you see the other university we checked this university of georgia the acceptance rate is like it's even below 50 anything below 50 is a no no right so here you can see acceptance rate 100 percent and i mean it's good it's fair enough and you can even see here that they have it includes grants and scholarship from the institution state and federal government so they have aids available maybe this was we'll just be checking for the rest of this video so let's go back to chat gpt so the georgia southern university let's check on georgia southern university georgia southern university 
Georgia Southern University. Guys, again, you can see here by your right, the acceptance rate is 91%, which is good. Very, very good. Graduation rate is for first time this one. So aid includes grants and scholarships from the institution. So they also give aid. So this one we'll just be checking. So you guys, you guys can see what I'm talking about. This acceptance rate means that when you submit like your application to this university, like your chances of being accepted into the university, this is what the acceptance rate means, right? So ChatGPT. Let's look at this Georgia Georgia Institute of Technology. Let me just copy this one and just paste it. I'm gonna cancel this one. Okay, so this Georgia Institute of Technology, you can see here the acceptance rate by your right is 16%. So, no, thank you. Next, we're not doing Georgia Institute. So, again, another one we can check is um, this one. I'm just going to paste that here. Acceptance rate is 82%. Okay. So you can see it's two percent is good but believe me you see those 90s 90 percent and above 100 percent those are the schools you should be looking out for so they have it it isn't like it but i believe they do have it so if you have if you get funding you can get funding they won't have they won't write they have it include grants and scholarship from the institution and state and federal so the reason why I usually go for public um, public universities in the US is because they usually get like, like you can see here, like they have aid and scholarship from the state and the federal government. So public universities usually do have these aids and then they come in, in form of graduate assistantships. You get, they, co they usually cover your tuition fee and then they'll, you get to work on campus and then they pay you monthly stipends you get. So this is for this one. Maybe we should look at Augusta. I know that Augusta has the funding as well. Um, Let's search. So the acceptance rate in Augusta University is seventy-three percent. Mm -hmm. Good, but not that good. Good, but not that good. I know Augusta does have funding opportunities though. They do have funding opportunities. So guys, this is how you search for the schools in US. So now, if there's something that you, you can take from this, okay, is that when you have checked all these schools, right? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't say you must go to a school in Alabama. Don't say you must go to a school in Hawaii or just do this thing get your your pen your paper and pen and then like in alabama now the university that had like the highest acceptance rate you write down that university right you go to alaska search for public universities in alaska check the acceptance rate the one with look for the universities with 100 percent guys look for the university 100 percent because you know that once you submit your application you are definitely going to get like if your application is good it's good please don't guys submit application that is not good enough and you now come back and say i research said no you have to submit a good application with good um yeah a good application basically so you do that and then you're going to get accepted so look for schools that have that the acceptance rate is like 91 percent the acceptance rate is like 100 percent then you write those schools down now you want to go to these those in those universities that the acceptance rate is like high and then you want to do your research check the programs go to their academics check the programs do they have the program that you are interested in so here you can see the undergraduate majors graduate majors so you want to check let me click on graduate majors so make sure that these universities that have 100 percent acceptance rate they have your in, in, intended program of study right 
so if the, the, you also you will still be filtering you get you still be filtering please and please another tip is that before you apply before you apply make sure you contact the department head tell them that you want to apply to this school and what are your chances of getting funding in form of assistantship maybe graduate assistant graduate administrative assistant or graduate teaching assistant or graduate research assistant so you ask them they usually apply sorry they usually respond okay so you ask them you make sure you ask them wait for their response before you go ahead and apply that is one of the tips that i i dropped in my in one of my ebooks but i'm dropping it here for free so anybody that watches this video till the end good for you because you'll just be enjoying all these small small tips that i'm giving so when you contact them they're going to now respond to you and tell you okay yes go ahead and apply so you familiarize yourself with this um with your department head let them know that okay you're interested in coming what is your what is the the what is the what, what do they have for you in form of funding because you cannot afford the tuition fee as an international student you just chat with them okay so that's a tip i believe this video is too long already and yeah this is how you this is how you do it okay i'll be ending the video here so guys please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as you can see here we have other informations as well here is fully funded scholarships for international students in singapore i drop um scholarship opportunities as well for other countries not just the us you can see here for new zealand you can see here for the uk and then other universities i think i have one for canada and i'm going to be dropping lots and lots of videos so please guys do well to give this video a thumbs up and engage like just drop comments and just support my channel thank you so much and see you in the next video Thank you.